Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about all the things I've been loving so far for like the past couple months. Some I just winged on and I can't live without them. Just saying. And I just wanted to share some things with you guys because I thought it'd be super selfish if I didn't share you them because they have changed my life. I mean, I might be a little bit dramatic, but you know what I mean. So let's get right into this video. First thing I think I'm gonna go with, I have a mixture of like random stuff, honestly, and some makeup, some non-makeup, some TMI, but like, why not share them? So the first couple things are gonna be about just like teeth, I guess, I'll go there. So I have been struggling to get like super white teeth just because I like Coke and I've tried to so badly like wing off of it, drink less of it. I, I don't like coffee and like red wine or anything that will like stain your teeth, just Coke. So I'm trying to wing off of that at the moment, but um, sometimes I like to have Coke with my meal. Anyways, I've been trying some whitening products and not necessarily like the crest strips or something like that. I've tried that in the past and I've seen like slight difference. I think I'd have to do like more treatments to notice a huge difference. So I've been trying to do like daily teeth whitening products. I first started with Crest 3D White Toothpaste and this is the Brilliance one. I wanted to try this one because I saw that Roxette on Instagram. She said she really liked this one and this is what she's been using to keep her teeth white as well as the mouthwash. So I bought both and I've been using it for about two months now. I do notice like right when I wash my teeth they are a bit whiter and even now like they have gotten whiter and they're not like 100% where I want them to. So I did see an improvement. This is like my third bottle of this toothpaste and I really do like it. I like that it keeps my mouth super minty and fresh. And I do use the mouthwash every time I brush my teeth. So once in the morning and once at night. And then same with this. But to kick it up a notch, I wanted to try out something else. And I saw a girl that I follow on Instagram. Her name's Nicolette Nelson. She's another girl that does Monet. And I follow her because she's like the cutest little pregnant woman ever and she's about to give birth to her baby and I can't wait to see. I know, so invested in other people's lives. But anyways, she said she's tried this Hello Activated Charcoal with Fresh Mint plus Coconut Oil. It's epic whitening toothpaste. It's a natural based toothpaste. So I wanted to give it a shot and it is cruelty free and it's vegan and it helps protect against cavities and stuff. So what I do is I wash my teeth with this one first and since I still feel like I have like a stain of black because this is literally a black toothpaste, I do notice a huge difference after using this, like my teeth look so white. So what I do is brush my teeth with this and then I brush my teeth again with this. I know brushing your teeth twice is excessive but I'm trying to get my teeth white and not do like the crest strips or anything so these two have actually been helping also cutting down anything dark as well and i've seen a difference in my teeth as you guys can see they look a little bit wider um to me at least you guys probably won't even notice but they do to me in person like i do see a bit wider what was my problem is like with the crest strips i was getting it white on like the bottom of my teeth but the root of my teeth were still a little stained so with these brushing it and getting in there in the root of my teeth like near the gums have been helping a lot so i really do love these if you want a black charcoal like toothpaste that isn't like the powder form because i've done powder form and i just hate the taste this has a mint taste to it which is nice and easy and it's not like powder or anything it's not messy because whenever i use that i felt like my whole sink would turn like black with powder everywhere trying to get like the powder on my toothbrush so i really do like these as well as the mouthwash using this mouthwash is like the most like mintiest mouthwash ever so i used to have another one that would literally make me gag after using it so i had to switch it and i really do like this one so all those three really good for teeth whitening so far i hope to see more and improvement next is body products so i went to miami and i needed a sunscreen i looked just for like a general sunscreen nothing so i wouldn't like burn i didn't want to be like using a tanning oil but i came across this copper tone sunscreen glow with shimmer and it's spf 15 and i really do like it like this gives you a glow no joke like i know i used to use like a hawaiian the hawaiian brand sunscreen but i did get some glitter in it this just gives you a glow to the skin and literally in the sun 
it will have reflective glitters on it so like your skin looks so nice and like golden with some glitter and it doesn't come off in the water it's really really pretty i actually wore this to stagecoach like every day all over my body because i wanted to like glitter in the sun and i loved it and i didn't get burned i never got burned once from this it's like free of parabens p a b a oxy benzone oxy benzone i really do like this as my sunscreen and i just love that it gives me that glow and looking healthy rather than like the white cast of normal sunscreens the next product is skin refreshing apricot scrub from up and up and this is a target brand so i wanted to get a scrub for my all over body to exfoliate until like, i get like dead skin off and stuff i was gonna do the saint ives and I was like, you know what, let me check on my Think Dirty app, what's the rating? And that was like a 8, I believe, and this one was only a 4. And it's much cheaper than the St. Ives one, so I really wanted a nice scrub. And I actually find this one, it's less harsh than St. Ives one, because I feel like the St. Ives has like really strong scrubs in it. And this one doesn't, it's gentle to the skin, and I really like it for my all-over body, like on my legs and on my arms and stuff. I use this every time I shower just to give my body a nice exfoliant and it feels amazing after your skin is so freaking soft so love this stuff next is perfume so this is my new perfume I never even mentioned perfumes on here I don't know but I ran into this one at the mall and this one is from Giorgio Armani it's the Aqua de Gioa 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 it's like the girl version of Giorgio Armani and this smells so freaking amazing and I love it it stays on for hours and I like more of a kind of like masculine fresh smell for like girls and this one is perfect I've never smelled anything like it and I get so many compliments on it like oh my gosh you smell so bomb it's this and this I'll smell it on myself like get whiffs of it when I move like on my clothes or something so I know it lasts for hours and this smells I like you want to use it sparingly my boyfriend bought me this because i simply mentioned it one day like oh my gosh i found the most like perfect perfume ever and like two weeks later he got it for me which i was like oh my god thank you so much so thank you babe for this um but i really do love this and just go check it out at the, your like mall and it's amazing now moving on to makeup i recently got these new microfiber juno sponges you guys have followed me for a while you know i love juno sponges and they came out with mini ones i never knew like when beauty blender came out with little small blending sponges i was like what's the point of using a little one like why i have tried these and i love them i love the way they apply my concealer so freaking much and I love the pink one to set it. So I will use my Catrice Prime and Fine Powder and just dab on the powder. Like whenever I've set my face like with a brush, it could be possible that I apply too much to my skin and then it looks like it just sucked up all the moisture out of my eyes and it's just so cakey. With this, I don't know how it does the velvetness of the sponge that it will just apply the right amount and it won't leave me kicky it won't leave me too dry it just sets my under eye like no other i will never go to something else because i love this and i actually love this to set my makeup like under my eyes more than this one this one i just love how it simply blends my makeup out my concealer specifically like that's what i use this one for and i don't know why the mini using the mini one is just so much better i will get right up into that inner corner and it will blend the concealer where I want it. I absolutely love it. I didn't know it was necessary, but if you want to give it a shot, these are so freaking affordable. That's why I love Juno. I will always use a Juno sponge for my makeup application because they are amazing. I use literally, let me show you. It's pretty gross, but I have these because I need to wash them. And I have backups like always because I hate washing my sponges, but I love using them every single time I apply my makeup, so I will. And I honestly just love them. Like, the velvetness of the sponge is so amazing. Like, I have all these other sponges in here. Let me show you again. But I don't use them anymore. 
I only use my Juno sponges. They're so freaking amazing. So now moving on to skin. I have had a lot of skin issues lately. My skin has just not been working with me. Like I currently still have skin issues and I just got a lot of clogged pores for some reason trying to do different things figuring things out i got some other new products that i'm trying out at the moment but what i've been feeling is that i've gotten really dry and i'm trying to keep the moisture in my skin and i'm trying to get rid of my acne scars and literally the only product that i've seen a difference is my rejuvenic oil i talk about this like all the time i mix this in in my moisturizer every day every morning every night I mix this puppy in like I do not go a day without putting this on my skin and it is the only thing taking away my acne scars I'm not using anything else specifically to take my acne scars away and this thing has been working like I still see some like peek through it's just because they're really red and it's because of my box I picked at them but they were just massive and they were actually hurting so I had to get rid of them like they were hurting my skin. This has been diminishing them slowly but surely like it's not an overnight fix. Your acne scars going away is never an overnight fix. This has definitely been helping getting that redness away. It has been like over two months trying to get my acne scars to go away and my pimples that keep popping up to go away and this puppy is the only thing that keeps them from not being so red and I love the Monate brand as you guys know it's like the one that I rep all the time on my Instagram it's great for my hair I use it literally every day for my hair like I'm gonna do an oil treatment right now with this as well today so I could wash it after my workout and I love it for everything I love it for my skin I love it for sunburn I love it for my hair I love it for my scalp so this is the only thing that I've been using to get rid of my acne scars and it has been helping Next is one product that I've been loving and I have on today is my eyeliner. This one is so, 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 so bomb. It's the Makeup Revolution London Felt Tip Pen and it is the skinniest pen I've used and it is so easy to use, it's so skinny. What I like about it is I don't have to like keep shaking it or like dip it into something, like it doesn't get dry. Now I've been using this for about like three weeks, I wanna say, or more. And it's made me want to do more wings just because of how easy it is. Like I got tired of doing wings because it's so time consuming. And this makes my application process so much faster. So I really do like this. And it's so inexpensive. I think it's like $7.99. So go and try this out. If you're having trouble with your wings, this will make your life so much easier. This is my last and final product. And this is my like TMI product. And it is my organic cotton tampons from the brand L. And I never was one to like be cautious of what tampons I was using, but my sister told me about like the Think Dirty app and I freaked out when I saw the things that were in my tampons that I was using. And when I looked these up, cause she was like, try this brand, like it is really good for you and it's not like bleached or anything and it has no fragrances, no nothing, it's organic. So what's really cool about this brand, Elle, not only it's organic and stuff, but they give back. Every tin or product that you buy from Elle gives back to a woman. So it'll give them a pad in another country and it helps them out with their menstrual cycle, which I thought was really nice. I've never seen a company that literally puts it on the back of their packaging that they do that. It's really, really cool. And I love that they're organic and they actually fold up really well. I use Super because you know why so it's called this is l.com if you guys want to check it out and what i really like about it is like their packaging their packaging is so sleek and so cool like i put this underneath my sink i really do love these and i thought i should tell you guys this is like my third tin of these and they're the same price as my regular like super um i think tampax one that i was using they're organic and they help other girls out so why not so yeah, that is all of the products I've been loving and I hope you guys want to try some of these out. They're literally amazing for me right now. They're saving my life, especially these. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.